Okay, I'm just checking in to let you know what's going on here. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my holy t-shirt. <laughs> That's uh, it's from my skiing years. It's a big sky uh, t-shirt that I bought many years ago. It's a big sky, now it's a shop shirt. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee and uh, Finishing up on milling the flats on those shafts. I didn't finish those. So I can show you what I'm doing. We got major wind going on outside, so I'm not outside doing anything. Um, getting ready to uh, do some shingling. I hope I don't fall off the roof. I mean, with my dizzy spells and stuff, you gotta be really careful. So I'll be on my knees probably most of the time up on the roof uh, when I'm shingling. Um, it's a uh, 27 by 27 uh, uh, foot garage that uh, was on my father-in-law's property and uh, we ended up with ownership right now of the of the property so we're doing little things around it to uh, fix it up before we put it on the market to sell um, so anyway I'm not working out there it's too darn windy and I was hoping to go buy shingles today get the shingles and uh, scaffolding and everything all lined up but uh, with the way the wind is going I probably not even gonna do that I'll wait until tomorrow uh, get some shingles and uh, tomorrow tomorrow is supposed to be rain and snowy anyway so uh, go get shingles and plus I need I'm the plus the landscaping blocks that I want to use to go around my new shed, around the base of it, they're on sale right now. I think they're like under a buck a piece. So I'm gonna go get a trailer load or whatever will fit on my trailer, um, and get ready for doing that. I got like I like I said, I got a lot of projects going on this summer, so. It won't be much shop time. Other than days like this when I can't do anything outside, I might step in the shop and give you a shout out and let you know what's going on. So, But anyway, I'm going to finish up these shafts here, um, putting the flats on. And I thought I'd just give you a view of, you know, I got my little brass. It's still set up from the other day. I got a piece of copper in there. I've got two more to do. This one and one more to do. And then we'll, and then uh, I'll set up to drill the holes, the uh, set screw holes. I'm thinking I'm going to use 348 screws. So let me see what I got. Here. I've got a box of odds and ends. That's 172s. Could almost use those. And I had 172s, a different line. I think that's what I'll use. I got a whole bunch of 172s here. So that's what I'll do. I'll drill for 172 screws. But they're not set screws, and they're not grub screws. They're just short little screws that I'm going to use. They have that little head on them, and, and uh, I'm going to use those. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and finish up these two having my coffee it's, it's decaf coffee too by the way uh, I can't drink caffeine it affects my medicine <laughs> along with alcohol so you know, when I go up often I like to have a beer or two, and uh, I guess I won't be able to do that anymore. So that means no more, uh, no more beer at the golf course either. So, you know. Anyway, for now, anyway, a, a doctor had said, it kind of warned me and uh, that it could 
since it's not ne necessarily wood, but it could, and I was having trouble with my medicine, and I was drinking a lot of coffee, since I've quit drinking coffee now, uh, drinking so much coffee, my medicine is actually working better. So, this doctor is right. It's, uh, it does something to the medicine so that it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. <laughs> Alright, so I'll take this one out. I'll, uh, if I can get it out. I'll take this one out of this. This is the last one here. And then I'll do the 172 uh, screws for in the handles. We'll set up and do those. And then the collar that goes on the outside here, I'm, I, it looks like I'm going to have to make some longer ones. Just, the ones that I made are too short. Um, I made them to the drawings, but I don't like the way they said. I like, I'd like the handles to set out a little further on uh, you know set out from this surface a little bit further I don't know if, I'll, if I'm on camera yeah, right here so so instead of setting out just that far set out a little ways further and if I do convert one to uh, uh, NC control numerical new Computer numerical, well, computer numerical control. Um, then I got a, lo a longer area to put a pulley because it would be a step uh, step belt pulley that goes down to the to the either servo motor or step motor, and I'm leaning toward a servo motor because uh, servo motors. Always remember, always know where they're at. Basically, I mean, step motor can lose its steps, and then you you're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> you know, unless you go back to the beginning <clears throat> and go back to your unknown set point. That's what my NC is over that I have here. It's not a servo motor; it's a step motor. So if it loses its set point, you got to go back and. To a known set point, which is the soft limit that I set, and, and that I put that in the program so that it can, if I'm in the middle of it, I can go back to that anyway. All right. I had a question about. Uh, those coils that were high energy output coils that were getting sold on the internet for three bucks, I think, is when I bought them. If they would work on, on uh, if I got them to work on motor, I did get them to work on engines. I had to really dink around with the timing though. I can't remember if I had to increase it. I think I did. I think I had to increase the. Or no, I had to delay. Anyway, I had to mess with the timing a bunch in order to get them to work. I did get it to work on my six cycle, and I do believe I still have that. Yeah, I think I got that still on my six cycle engine because it works pretty good on the six cycle. I, I, not sure if it's not firing fast enough, or or what, but I gave up on it trying to get it to run on uh, I wanted it to run on my on my Harley engine the two cycle or two stroke or two stroke two cylinder four stroke engine and I couldn't get them to work so I gave up on them and and I, and I started winding my coils anyway little coils and if you watch some of my uh, videos I'll, I'll get one out here Dig one out. Box of them here. They're the size of a, a C battery. Yeah, I think so. C battery. They're the size of of this one, which I never did use. I I, I had bought this. It's a uh, the the power keg, and I had bought one, 
and then I turned around and started making my own and there's three of the bigger ones I'm looking for the one that I used the I used a um, C battery here's the here's the housing that I moved that I'm that I use and all that is is a battery the housing off of a I think a C battery so that power cake almost fit in it the coils that I wound will fit they fit right in there and, and then I put them in, in the wax I got a wax chamber set up on a on a crock pot a vacuum pull a vacuum so that it fills all the nooks and crannies with wax so that they don't have a an arc out in in the windings. Otherwise, the windings can arc and then short out, and then you're out of luck. And I don't seem to see where my small ones disappeared to. I know I used a couple of them already. More than a couple. Three or four of them. And they work good. Um, I followed, I followed the book, pretty close. I followed the book that I bought pretty close, um, and uh, everything turned out pretty good. The the resistance on the coils were right, so everything worked. What was I doing here? Oh, the handles now. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this over on the surface plate with the other one so I don't lose anything and then grab the handles and I think I'm going to put two screws in that will line up on that flat I'll just I was going to put them in on this side but I don't think so I, I think I'm going to put them on the side 